Welcome to the Yes, you're a man. Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss polynomials. Before that, let us understand some basic concepts. Term. A term is either a single number or variable or numbers and variables multiplied. That is, example, suppose if I am writing 5, 5 is a term. So, it is a single number. We call it as term. For example, a variable x is a variable and this is a term. Just see the next numbers and variables multiplied. Suppose I am writing 3, then another variable y. This is numbers and variables multiplied. 3y is again a term. Some more examples of terms I will write. 7x, 3xy. So these are examples of term. Now just see. 4x, this is a term and 3x, 3xy. Suppose if I am using a mathematical operator, we can say these are terms. Now here we have two terms. So once again I repeat, these are examples of terms. Term is either a single number or variable or numbers and variables multiplied. The next is variable, a quantity that may change. For example, suppose if I am writing 5x, now here 5 is a constant value that don't change but x can take any values. x can take x1, 2, 3 or negative 1, negative 2 like that any values x can take. So that for which the value changes, we call it as variable. So, x is a variable. x is a variable. Another example, 7y. So, we denote variables with alphabets, with any alphabets. We can write 7y, 9a. So, all these are variables. All these are variables. The next is constant. The constant in the sense it remains the same. For example, 7 is a constant. We are not going to change the value of 7. It remains the same. 7 is a constant. Then 15 is again a constant. So all the numbers are constants. We call all the numbers as constants because it remains the same and we are not going to change the values. The next is coefficient. A numerical or constant quantity placed before and multiplying the variables in an algebraic expression. For example, let me write 6x. Just see here. So this is the variable. x is the variable here. So what we are doing? A numerical or constant quantity, a number or a constant quantity placed before the variable, before and multiplying the variable. That is, this is the variable here and this is the numerical quantity or a number placed before the variable. So, we can call this as coefficient. Suppose I am writing 4a. Now, what is the coefficient of 4a? So, 4 is the coefficient of a. Now, here, suppose if I am writing 5xy, what is the coefficient here? 5 is the coefficient here. The next is expression. An expression is a sentence with a minimum of two numbers or two variables 
and at least one math operation. So you can write two terms. For example, 5 plus 9. This is an expression. Example of an expression. We are writing a mathematical operation in between these two terms. These two numbers. So this is an example of expression. Suppose if I am writing x minus y. Again I used a mathematical operation between two terms. This is an expression. Now 5x plus 3y. Again this is an example of expression. I have used a mathematical operation plus in between and this is one term and this is another term. Altogether we call it as expression. Some more examples of expressions. 4x square 3x plus 2. Then next 5x plus 2. Again here we have used variable and here uh, only constant term. Again this is an example of expression. So these are examples of expression. So we use a mathematical operator in between the two terms or three terms and so on. So we call these as expressions. So now we are going to understand the coefficient variable constant term and expression in a simple way. Just see here 5x plus 7 is the example I have taken and here we know that the 7 is a number and it is a constant and x is a variable and anything any number before the variable we call that number that value as coefficient so 5 is before the variable x and we call that 5 as coefficient see here this 5x is a term and 7 a, 7 7 is a term. So we are writing these terms with a mathematical operator in between. So we call this as expression. We call this 5x plus 7 as an expression. Let us understand some more examples. So 3x is a term and it is a single term. So we call that single term as monomial. Now here 9x plus 2 is another example. We have two terms here. So we call that as binomial. Mono means 1 and binomial means 2. Then here, here you have 5x square plus 3x plus 4. You have three terms here. So if you have three terms, we can call this as trinomial and if it is more than three terms then we call then we call it as polynomial for example 4 x power 4 3 x cube plus 9 x square plus 7 x plus 2 we can call this as polynomial One more example I will tell you 5x cube plus 4x square plus 6x minus 3. So these are examples of polynomials. Now we are going to discuss the degree of a polynomial. So what is the degree of a polynomial? The highest power of the variable in the polynomials. So just see in this what is the highest power? What is the variable here? x? So what is the highest power of the variable? The power is 1 here. x has power 1. Okay. Then we can say that it has degree 1. Just see in the next example. So the highest power of the variable in the polynomials. So here we have x here. The power is 1. And here we have x again. This is the variable and this is also the variable. Here the power is 1. Here the power is 2. So for this polynomial, we have the power 2. Because the highest power we have to see. 
So the power is 2, the highest power is 2 and so the degree of the polynomial is 2. And just see in this example, here the variable is x. We have the powers 1, 2 and 3. 3 is the highest power in this. Then we can say that the degree of the polynomial is 3. So if it is degree 1, that is for this, we can say that as linear polynomial. If the power is 2 and that is the degree is 2, then we can call that as quadratic polynomial. And if it is 3, if the power is 3 and if the degree is 3, if the power is 3, then the degree is 3. Then we can call that as cubic polynomial. And if the power is 4, we can call that as biquadratic or quartic polynomial. So let us discuss one more problem. 4x power 5 minus 6x power 4 plus 7x cube minus 5x square plus 3x minus 1. So in this polynomial, what is the variable? x is the variable here and the highest power of the variable is 5. So we can say that the highest power is 5 and so the degree of the polynomial, the degree of the polynomial is 5. The degree of the polynomial is 5. So we always have to keep in mind that the power of the variable will be a whole number. We have to understand that the degree of the variable will be a whole number always. And if you have any doubt on this, you can post it in the comment box and let us solve some problems under polynomials. Let us do some problems under polynomials in the next video. And thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.